They say it's not the camera, but the photographer that makes a great image. So what actually happens when you take experienced photographers and give them entry level or outdated gear? Get ready to find out. I'm going head to head with photographers with inexpensive photography equipment that we normally wouldn't use. This is the Budget Photography Gear Shootout. This video is brought to you by Adorama. My name is Vanessa Joy, and today I've got Miguel Quiles. You might know him from YouTube and Sony and a bunch of other different places. I'll let you introduce yourself. Are you saying I've been around the block? You've is been that... around the block. Yeah. So I'm standing six Man. feet away from you. Yeah, I don't blame <laughs> you. I don't blame you. Those are the times we live in. But yeah, my name is Miguel Quiles. I'm a portrait, beauty, headshot photographer. Uh, now living in Orlando, Florida. So we used to be neighbors and now we're, not. now we're not. All right, here's what I'm shooting with. I've got the Canon M50 Mark II. I'm gonna stick with my 32 millimeter 1.4 EFM lens. So I've got a nice little uh, cute camera going on here. So I'm gonna be shooting with the Sony ZV-1. Uh, really nice, compact, small camera. I've actually got it rigged up with a cage, which uh, adds a little bit of a grip to hold the camera a little bit easier. But um, awesome camera. I mean, this is probably my favorite walk around camera. If I'm gonna go and do shoots like this where I really don't know what to expect, this, this gets the job done. And our gorgeous model, Erica Lynn, will definitely put her information in the description so you can follow her. She's got a really good Instagram. All right, um, so how long do we have to shoot? I didn't even, just however, however long until I mean, we get what we want. I don't know, like 10 minutes, like okay. whatever right. you need. I didn't know if we were doing it like, you know, like an actual challenge, it's like five no. minutes. Yeah. No, last time we did a challenge like that, if I recall, you owe me 20 bucks. Still. Yes, that's true. <laughs> this is true. This is true. All right, so I'm just going to take a couple of quick little test shots here, and then I'll start to kind of guide you. Beautiful. Love that. That's the beauty of shooting with natural light. Don't really have to work super hard to uh, get something nice. Beautiful, love that. Take a side step this way, cool. Very nice, hold that. Excellent. Good. I'm zoomed all the way in. All right, these are just gonna be shoulders or uh, chest up. Awesome. Pro tip, always make sure that you check your camera to make sure you're shooting in RAW or RAW in JPEG. I've had plenty of times where I start to shoot and then I stop because I got a great photo and I play it back and I'm like, oh man, I'm in JPEG. Let's do it again. So fortunately I'm in RAW. Are you saying you can't shoot accurately enough to only shoot in JPEG? Is that what you're telling everyone? No, you know? so mm -hmm. you could totally shoot in JPEG. Like that's totally fine. But you get so much more flexibility in post-production with RAW. And oftentimes when you're shooting natural light, you're really wanting to take advantage of the sensors that are in these small cameras and you could actually kind of underexpose the image and then boost it up in post, um, which is something pretty fun and I do it super often. You can't really do it with a JPEG, but you can with a RAW. People argue about like, oh, JPEG RAW, JPEG RAW, and it's not just to save your butt, it's so you have the most flexibility out of your image, the best color, the best detail, dynamic range, all of it. One thing you wanna make sure of as well when you're shooting with these smaller uh, sensor cameras, um, you do want to make sure that you're not going overboard with uh, your highlights and your shadows. You want to get kind of a balanced exposure because if you're too far overexposed, you're not going to be able to save that. And if you're too far underexposed, you're going to have a hard time saving that as well. Let me get a little wider here. There we go. So that entire time, speaking of like technical things, I was shooting with product showcase on, which is a feature on this camera where if you put something up to the lens, it basically focuses on that and not on you, which is great. Uh, but obviously I'm not photographing a product, I'm photographing a person. So I wanna use the eye autofocus, which is now engaged. I literally was gonna do that. So idea two forming, oops. This is one of the awesome things having a flip screen too, is being able to angle your, your uh, screen up as you need it. Beautiful. And so one of the other things too is when you have somebody who's posing really well, um, putting it in continuous mode is really helpful because sometimes I'm pushing and she's closing her eyes and she's just doing her thing and I'm letting her ride with it. But I'm gonna put it onto a faster uh, drive mode. Love it. You do this well. You must miss a lot of people. <laughs> Done, I retire. Done, let's go.
So scooch close to the edge of the chair. Yeah, and I love the kind of, that looks awesome. Love that. You know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm gonna switch my lens real quick because I do have this 11 to 22 and I wanna like really exaggerate how long your legs are. Now this is an F4 lens, so that part might be a little annoying, but. Love it. Awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna use that reflector. You're gonna come in right on this side. I am gonna switch back to that other one. All right, and I am bringing the plant. <laughs> Pretty. Love that. And come on towards me, like dead on towards me. Yeah. Love that. And then just look straight out that way. You can tilt your head towards me a little. Yeah, right there. Can I get the reflector on this side? And just lighting her face. and then look towards me, good. And you know, one thing I love about these cameras is just like they're so light and then like whatever angle you want, you don't have to have the effort of getting down there, you just. There's no struggle. Nope. So let me actually try, if you take a few steps forward, I wanna darken the background a little. So if you come, <laughs> you just bunny hop it. And then you're gonna mostly look that direction. Take a little like shimmy that way, yep. Perfect. Nice, and a couple looking at me. <laughs> Perfect, love it. All right, I think we got good stuff. I wanna put this in the computer. Before I let you see these pictures, let me take a second to brag about our sponsor. Adorama isn't just a photography store, it's everything you'll need throughout your photography life. They don't just have both new and used equipment for you to buy, or give you one of the easiest ways to sell your old gear. Adorama takes it a step further by providing photographers a wild amount of education through their YouTube channel, Instagram, and 42 West blog. Whatever your photographic needs, Adorama is there helping you create no matter what. All right, let's take a look at these photos. All right, oh my God. Oh yeah, she looks, wow. She's, wow. She made it easy. Wow, Erica. She made it easy. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, I know. She's like, you know. <laughs> We could look at my first. Yours is still importing. I'm just looking at mine, by the way, guys, in photo mechanics, so it's not editing, it's just recalling. Um, so this is when I started off with the 1.4 lens, and then it's like, nope, you can only go to 5.6, so I definitely am too dark with these here. But I think regardless, I did like the foreground. Oh, yeah. The foreground was cool, and I felt like it matched there really nicely with the blues and the greens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love the framing with that uh, right, fake plant. It's perfect. You know me, always ready to get some fake foliage. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> These are my favorites. Yeah, that's beautiful. I just like- That's like godly light right there, I just, you know? I feel like it's telling a story and we're at one four. Let's see if this folk, yeah. Yeah, that is that is sharp. These are probably gonna be what I edit, but I like, I just like the whole story here. And then yeah. this is after you put the reflector in, which I'm pretty sure made yeah, a huge difference. Oh yeah. Yeah, and like the sharpness of her eyes, the catch light. So you put those two together, much more directional. Right. You get her eyes even that far away, you can see them better. I kind of maybe like it blown out, I don't know. But me being like a flash guy, like this would be one where, you know, I would expose for the background so that you could see some of that. But it's just like, it still has this magic with natural light that uh, I'm a fan of. Yeah, that glow. Mm-hmm. All right, I think those are my favorites so far and then i'll edit one so what are some things you know we're both shooting with entry level gear we want to talk about you know you can shoot with it but what would have made the difference for you had you been shooting with one of the more expensive sony cameras i think just having the flexibility that if i wanted to shoot wide open all the time like i have a lot of fast lenses um, but to be honest it's like shooting with these smaller cameras you're a lot more creative and you're a lot faster and kind of more uh, light on your feet. I don't know that there's so much of an advantage 
other than the fact that the image quality is going to be quite a bit higher. Um, but to be honest, most of our photos end up going on social media and no one really gets to enjoy it. Oh, I like this. This is like my style I all day long. I love that one specifically. Like, that's beautiful. I like her hand placement. It's almost like symmetrical in a different way. So just kind of going through these. Usually I kind of just thumb through these before they even get sharp. Uh, I try to see as a whole, like, do I like the photo? Here I was trying to frame this thing up. Sometimes when, the, uh, when you take these types of shots, it's like, I'm just really going for that vibe. That looks great. That's cool. Oop, hold on, what's this? I like that expression. Uh, yeah. The next one. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I dig that too. See what you um, think of yourself. So, yeah, I mean, these, <laughs> honestly, these first set of shots, like... Those are my favorite. This is my favorite. Yeah. Like, if I was here shooting with my real camera, I, I would have explored this a lot more, just having that really nice textured background. And then for me, like, this is always a favorite of mine, like a New York favorite. Like, yes. you, there's so many big windows in these, like, studios and warehouses and stuff and just get the person close to the window and you're, you're gonna get a banger shot. Beautiful uh, expressions, beautiful mood. I mean, this is one where I probably would have, like I'd have to really go through these with like a fine tooth comb to really cull them down because there's a lot of them that are really nice. Well, that's your job. That's what we're yeah. gonna do. We're gonna go home. We're each gonna edit our favorite one. We'll put them side by side for you guys and then you can tell us which one is your favorite. Not that it's a competition because we're just having fun and playing around, but you guys will likely vote for one anyway. So we'll put those side by side. Thanks for having me. Um, you know, always a good time where we can connect and do some photo shoots, so Absolutely. good times. So hit like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave some comments, leave some love, and of course check out Miguel Kilos here on YouTube as well. All the info will be below, and I'll see you next time.